Mrs. Davis's first grade class. This is a story about some of the lessons students have learned in class. This is an interactive story about map reading. You will be asked to pick up a pen to answer questions during the story. If you are using the smart video player, the video will pause when you pick up a pen. A PDF file will accompany this story with directions. And now, the story. Our class has been doing many fun learning activities during the school year. You may see that we are all excited. Why are we here? We are here to learn. We have been learning about math, science, social studies, and language arts. We studied the Pledge of Allegiance and what each line means to us in our country. Our class has been preparing for the 100th school day by doing many fun activities in the classroom. Groundhog Day was a lot of fun. We were able to see if Punxsutawney Phil would see his shadow. He did see it and now we have six more weeks of winter. Today Mrs. Davis has handed out a map of the city where we live. She's going to have each of us draw on the map to locate different places in the city. We are all excited and want to start quickly. Mrs. Davis said we needed to wait until she explains to us a few things about reading a map. We each looked at our maps and tried to find our home, schools, churches, and favorite store. Some of us could not find our home on the map, so Mrs. Davis showed us. It is fun to look at our maps and find where everything is in our town. We shared our maps with each other. We drew the paths we would take to come to school in the morning. My name is Robbie. I'm here to assist you. As you can see, I'm a robot. This is an engaged lesson. We are going to have to my media left some pull-down maps to illustrate to you. The first one is the Compass Rose. We will cover it in detail. The next one that we'll go over are some maps. In the maps, you'll learn coordinates and how they work. The last and third one, we'll be covering the Earth. As you can see, there's very aspects of the Earth you will need to have a student come up to the smart board and when and only when told to pick up a pen. I, your command. I will now explain to you the compass rows. At the top we have north. At the bottom you'll notice we have south. To the right is east. To the left we have west. And we also have other coordinates in between northwest and we also have southeast. And as you can see, around the compass, we have north, northeast, west, northwest, west, southwest. There are many details that you can come across. If you have not already done so, please have a student come up to the smart board. I your command. Please pick up a pen and draw a circle around north and south. Pick up a pen now. You should have drawn a circle around north and south. Please erase the board, place the pen back, have another student come up. Thank you. Attention student, attention student. Please pick up a black pen and place a circle around east and west. Then place the pen back in the tray. You should have placed a circle around east and west. Please have a student come up in approximately 5.8 seconds. Thank you. I your command. I am going to present to you a map that is in your story. 
we will show you how to locate in the map coordinates and how to draw on the map. You will be asked to pick up a pen and draw. Please remember to erase when you are done drawing and have another student come up to the smart board. Thank you. Attention all students, attention all students. We are going to provide you with an example for coordinates A5, find the letter A, come over to number five, circle the coordinate which is Shore Middle School. The next is playground is located, coordinate G8, find the letter G, find the number eight, place them together, coordinate G8 is the playground. This is how you will work with coordinates. Thank you. I your command. The map was presented to us on the smart board, so the whole class may view it. Kira is showing us where she lives. Attention students. Attention students. There should be a new student up at the smart board now. Attention new student. Attention new student. In this problem, you will pick up a pen and draw a black line to show the path Kara walked from her home this morning on the corner of 1st and Main Street, coordinates G4 to Roosevelt Elementary School. Pick up a pen now. You should have had the coordinates G4, circle the house, draw the line from the house to Roosevelt Elementary School. Follow this path. If yours looks like ours, nice job. Erase the screen. Have another student come up to the smart board. Thank you. I your command. Jordan came up to the smart board and showed us the street she would walk every day with her sister to the middle school. Attention student. Attention student. Pick up a black pen and draw a line to show the path Jordan walked from her home this morning, located at coordinate E8 to Shore Middle School. Pick up a pen now. You should have shown the coordinates located at E8, finding E, sliding over to E8, circle the house. Upon circling the house, you would go down the street, hang a left on Main Street, directly to Shore Middle School. Please pick up an eraser and erase the board. Have another student come up to the board, please. I your command. Melissa is showing the class the path she would take after school to go from Roosevelt Elementary School to the candy store. Attention new student. Attention new student. Melissa walked from Roosevelt Elementary School coordinate G9 to the candy store coordinate E9. Draw a blank line to show the path Melissa walked after school to end up at the candy store. Please pick up a pen now. Let's check your answer. Coordinate G9. Find the letter G. Find the number 9. They both come together. Circle Roosevelt Elementary School. Melissa would have walked down 1st Street, turn left on Main Street, turn left again on 2nd Street to coordinate number E9. This would have been the candy store. Please have another student come up to the smart board and erase the smart board now. Thank you. I your command. There are several more problems for you to conquer with this story. Please make sure you are paying attention. I your command. A new student should be at the board. Attention student, what are the coordinates for Supermarket, Shore Middle, and Roosevelt Elementary? Pick up a pen and write the coordinates. 
The coordinates are E4, Supermarket, Shore Middle, A5, Roosevelt, coordinate G9. Please have another student come up to the smart board. Erase the board. Thank you. I your command. Attention to the student. Place an N and A S for the school that is the furthest north and south. Pick up a pen now. You should have placed an S, Shore Middle, N, Roosevelt. Roosevelt is the furthest north. Erase the board. Thank you. New student to the board, please. I your command. Attention student, place a W or E for the school or schools that are the furthest east or west. Pick up a pen and do that now. You should have chosen Euclid High as west, Roosevelt as the furthest east. Please pick up an eraser and erase the screen. Thank you. I your command. With the pull-down chart and charts I will be supplying for you on my left, you can see the North Pole, North America, South America. You may also see the Great Lakes, the two oceans, your Pacific Ocean, your Atlantic Ocean, and just about where your state is located. Looking at this satellite view of the planet Earth, you need to know that this line that's down here is going to separate the Earth from night and day. As the Earth rotates, so will this line rotate. I your command. I hope you had fun learning with maps and have learned a lot today in school. The end. From my planet to yours, thank you. I your command.